Hello mga kawamat, sa video lesson na ito, i-discuss natin how to find the domain and range of a logarithmic function and determine the intercept, zeros, and asymptotes of a logarithmic function. Okay, properties of logarithmic function. First, the domain is the set of all positive numbers or that is x is a set of all real numbers except uh, or x is greater than zero. The range is a set of all positive real numbers. It is a one-to-one -one function. It satisfies the horizontal line test. The x-intercept is 1, so there is no y-intercept. The vertical asymptote is the line x is equal to 0. There is no horizontal asymptote. For example, sketch the graph of y is equal to 2 times log of x with base 2. And then, determine the domain, range, vertical asymptote, x-intercept, and zero. Okay, first, we need to construct a table of values of ordered pairs for the given function. Okay, so, uh, the values of x is given. So, to check your answer, you can use your calculator to check if the values of y is correct. Or, you can compute it manually, okay? So, like for example, if your x is 1 over 16, if your x is 1 over 16, we can express 1 over 16 as 2 raised to negative 4. So, logarithm of 2 raised to negative 4 is, uh, that is negative 4 times 2, the answer is negative 8. So, again, so applying the properties of logarithm, okay, applying the properties of logarithm, so log 2 raised to negative 4 with base 2, that is negative 4. And then, after that, multiply it by 2, so the answer is negative 8. Kaya negative 8. So, you can check uh, the va uh, your answer for the value of y if x is 1 over 8. No? So, next, if x is 1 fourth, so substitute lang natin yung x natin dito, yung 1 fourth sa x. So, yung 1 fourth we can write as 2 raised to negative 2. And applying the property of logarithm, so that is logarithm of 2 raised to negative 2. With base 2, the answer is negative 2 times 2, so y is equal to negative 4. Next, if x is 1, so log of 1 with base 2, so applying the property again, so kapag 1 ulit dyan, the answer is 0. And 0 times 2, the answer is 0. Next, y is equal to log of x with base 2. So, if your x is 4, okay, and then we can write 4 as 2 squared. So, para ma-apply natin yung property of logarithm, and log 2 squared with base 2, the answer is 2, times 2, the answer is 4. Okay, so after natin makuha yung table of values, we can plot the points on the Cartesian plane. Okay, or you can use the GeoGebra, so paano ulit yung ginagawa? Okay, paano gagawin? So, copy nyo lang to, yung link na to sa browser ng laptop nyo. Or, kung meron na kayong na-download na app dyan sa cellphone nyo, you can use it. So, lagay lang natin. Uh, open and close parenthesis. 1, divide 16, comma, negative 8. Okay, so liitan natin para makita nyo yung graph. Okay, yan yan. Next. 1 divide 8 and negative 6. Okay. Next. 1 fourth and negative 4. Okay. Pindutin nyo lang yung tab, no? Yung tab sa, uh, dyan sa keyboard ng laptop nyo para mag next tayo. Ah, okay. So, hindi. Wait. Again, so that should be 1 fourth, 1 divide 4, negative 4. Okay, yan dapat. Okay, next is hmm? bakit nagkapalit sila? Ulit again. Okay. Ito nga muna ako. 
that is one fourth negative four okay next is one half negative two and then one zero two two okay next is two and two next is four four and then eight six okay so pwede kayo gumamit ng GeoGebra to check no, yung pagdaplat yun ng points kung tama and after that para makita nyo yung graph type nyo lang dyan ano ba yun? y is equal to 2 times the logarithm of ano yun uh, 2 yung base natin is 2 comma then x yan yan ang paglagay dyan so ayan na makikita nyo makikita nyo yung graph so yan yung graph ng ano natin ng given function natin so balik tayo Okay, so after natin ma-plot yung points, so pwede nang i-connect no? using the smooth curve. Okay, so ito yung graph ng y is equal to 2 times log of x with base 2. So after natin dyan, kunin na natin yung domain and range. So yung domain, so makukuha natin dito. Since meron tayong 2 dito, lipat muna natin using the property. no? Log of x squared with base 2. So x squared, so dito lang lagi natin kinukuha, ang pag, pag, pag kumukuha kayo ng domain, yung nandito. Okay? Then, uh, x squared greater than 0, dapat laging greater than 0. So, x is greater than 0. So, therefore, yung domain natin is from 0 to positive infinity. And then, yung range natin, of course, sabi kanina, there is no, uh, uh, no, yung range natin, wala tayo makukuha. So, Ibig sabihin, lahat possi possible. So, from negative infinity to positive infinity. And sabi kanina, the range is the set of all real numbers. Next. Sa so vertical asymptote naman, same. Kung ano yung restriction dun sa restricted, dun sa ano natin. ba Sa domain natin. Yung nakuha natin. So, yan yung value ng vertical asymptote natin. So, therefore, x is equal to 0. Yung x-intercept naman, to find the x-intercept, so let y is equal to 0. So, paano yan? So, log of 2, with ba uh, log x squared with base 2 is equal to 0. So, pinalitan natin yung y ng 0. And then, uh, transform nyo lang into exponential form. So, x squared is equal to 2 raised to 0. And 2 raised to 0, that is 1. x squared is equal to 1, that is... Uh, the answer is positive and negative 1 So, since ang x natin ay greater than 0 So, hindi pwede si negative 1 Therefore, yung x natin is equal to 1 So, therefore, the x-intercept of y is equal to 2 times log x with base 2 is 1, 0 Okay, and the zeros of this logarithmic function So, Kapag nakuha nyo yung value ng x dito sa x-intercept, yun yung shortcut, yun na rin yung zero. Zero nung logarithmic function nyo. So, kasi gagawin nyo lang y, yung zero again. So, therefore, yung zeros ng logarithmic function, x is equal to 1. Pero para mas mabilis, so, di ba nakuha na natin yung value ng x, so yan yung zero rin natin. Okay? Pero yung x-intercept natin, so kailangan natin i-write as ordered pair. Next, okay, find the domain and vertical asymptote of its logarithmic function. So, y is equal to, so I'll give you three sets of examples para masanay kayo to find the domain and range in the vertical asymptote of the given logarithmic function. So, log the quantity of 3x minus 4 with base 3. So, paano kunin yung domain? Okay, dito lang tayo. Ito lang. Yan, ito yung kukunin nyo. And then, greater than 0. 3x minus 4, greater than 0. Then, simplify nyo. 
So, lipat natin si negative 4 sa right side. Kaya 3x is greater than 4. Divide both side by 3. So, x is greater than 4 over 3. So, the domain is the open interval 4 over 3 to positive infinity. So, yung range that is from negative infinity to positive infinity. So, laging ganyan naman yung range. Next, yung vertical asymptote natin, kung ano yung nakuha nyo dito class, that is the vertical asymptote. So, x is equal to 4 over 3. Okay, next. y is equal to log the quantity 2x minus 8 plus 2 with base 4. So, paano kunin yung domain and range? So, una, 2x minus 8 is greater than 0. Ito lang yung kukunin natin. Wag na, hindi natin isasama si plus 2. Ito lang. So, yun nandito. And then, simplify. 2x is greater than 8. And then, divide both side by 2. So, x is greater than 4. Therefore, yung domain natin is uh, an open interval 4 to positive infinity. And yung range, same. That is a set of all real numbers. And vertical asymptote, so since nakuha na natin dito, so therefore yung x natin is equal to 4. So, ganyan lang. Next, y is equal to the quantity 8x minus 6 plus 4 with base 1 fourth. So, ano yung kukunin ulit natin para kunin yung domain and range? Ito lang, yung 8x minus 6 and then greater than 0. Simplify, lipat natin si negative 6 sa right side. So, 8x is greater than 6. And then, divide both sides by 8. So, x is greater than 6 over 8. So, pwede pa natin i lowest term yan. So, therefore, x is greater than 3 fourth. So, therefore, the domain is 3 fourth to positive infinity. And yung range is a set of all real numbers. So, yung vertical asymptote natin. So, ito na yon x is equal to 3 fourth. So, ganun lang kasimple pag nakuha yung domain. So, madali na rin kunin yung vertical asymptote. Next. Determine the intercepts and zeros of each logarithmic function. For example, we have y is equal to log x minus 1 with base 5. Ma, uh, no, log the quantity x minus 1 minus 1 with base 5. So, to find the x-intercept, let y is equal to 0. So, kagaya kanina, so papalitan lang natin yung y natin ng 0. So, log of x minus 1 minus 1 with base 5 is equal to 0. And after that, lipat natin si negative 1 doon sa right side. So, log of the quantity x minus 1 with base 5 is equal to 1. And then, transform or rewrite into exponential form. So, x minus 1 is equal to 5 raised to 1. So, and, so anong ginawa natin? Nirewrite lang natin into exponential form. And after that, simplify 5 raised to 1, that is equal to 5. And then, lipat natin, add 1 on both sides of the equation. So, x is equal to 6. Therefore, uh, the x-intercept of y is equal to the quantity x minus 1 minus 1 with base 5 is 6, 0. Paano naman kunin yung y-intercept? To find the y-intercept, let x is equal to 0. So, yung x naman yung papalitan natin. So, gawin natin 0. So, y is equal to 0 minus 1 minus 1 with base 5. So, magiging negative 1 to. Ngayon, uh, wala tayong makukuha na logarithm no? na any, kahit anong number erase natin si 5 na magne-negative 1 to. So, kapag nag-negative yung nandito class, so, your logarithm is undefined. So, therefore, the function has no y-intercept. Okay? And then, yung 0. So, to find the 0, let y is equal to 0. So, itong 0 naman, mabilis na lang siya makuha kapag nakuha na natin yung value ng x dun sa pagkuha natin ng x-intercept. So, kung ano yung nakuha yung value ng x, yan yun din yung 0 nyo. So, therefore, x is equal to 6. Pero dapat yung x-intercept nyo nakasulat as ordered pair. Okay? Next. y is equal to the, uh, log the quantity 10x plus 1 minus 4 with base 3. So again, to find the x-intercept, papalitan natin yung y ng 0. And then, transpose natin or lipat natin si negative 4 sa right side. So magiging log of the quantity 10x plus 1 
with base 3 is equal to 4 and then rewrite as exponential form. 10x plus 1 is equal to 3 raised to 4 and 3 to raised to 4 is 81 and then simplify uh, you can add by negative 1 both sides so 81 minus 1 the answer is 80 divide both sides by 10 since 10x is equal to 80 divide both sides by 10 so x is equal to 8 therefore the x intercept of y is equal to log the quantity 10x plus 1 minus 4 with base 3 is 8, 0. To find the y-intercept, so let x is equal to 0. So, palitan natin ng 0 yung x natin. So, that is 10 times 0 plus 1 minus 4 with base 3. And 10 times 0, that is 0 plus 1. So, the answer is 1. Ngayon, class, so, ba one of the property of logarithm. So, kapag 1 yung nandito, so, ano yung value nito? That is 0, correct. So, 0 minus 4, the answer is negative 4. So, therefore, yung y-intercept ng logarithm natin is 0 and negative 4. So, yung x natin ay ginawa natin 0 and then yung y natin is negative 4. And to find the 0 of this logarithmic function, of the given logarithmic function, since nakuha na natin yung x natin dito, so yun din yung 0 natin. So, therefore, the 0 of uh, the given logarithmic function is x is equal to 8. Okay, so quiz time. So I'll give you five questions. So try to answer. What is the x-intercept of the function y is equal to log 3x plus 4 minus 2 with base 4? A. Okay. Negative 4, 0. B, 3, 0. C, negative 2, 0. D, 4, 0. Pwede nyo i-post yung videos sa kanyo uh, i-play ulit. Yes, the answer is letter D. Next, number 2. What is the domain of the function y is equal to log 4x plus 12 minus 5 with base 4? A, from negative 5 to positive infinity. B, negative 3 to positive infinity. C, set of all real numbers. D, 4 to positive infinity. Solve nyo muna. Yes, the answer is letter B. Next, which of the following is the zero of the function y is equal to x plus 6 with base, uh, this is a common logarithm, minus 1. Letter A, x is equal to negative 1. B, x is equal to 10. C, y is equal to log of x with base 2. And D, x is equal to 4. So, what will be the answer? No? Okay. Okay, so C, X is equal to 1, and D is X is equal to 4. So, solve nyo muna, post nyo muna yung video, then i-play ulit kapag may sagot na. Okay, so the answer is letter D. Next, number 4. What is the Y-intercept of the function? Y is equal to log the quantity 2X plus 1 minus 3 with base 5. A, 0 to negative 3. B, 0 and negative 1. C, 0, 5. And 0, 2. Letter D. Okay, so the answer is letter A. Next, number 5. Which of the following is the range of a logarithmic function? A, set of all real numbers. B, from negative infinity to 0. C, 0 to positive infinity. And D, 0, 0. Yes, that is letter A. So, kapag nakakuha kayo ng 5 points, congratulations. O kaya kapag di naman, pwede nyo naman ulitin yung video lesson na to para ma-practice kayo at ma-familiarize kayo at ma-master how to find the domain range, the vertical asymptote, the intercept, and the zeros of logarithmic function. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button para updated kayo for more video tutorial. This is your guide in learning your math lesson, your WOW Math channel.